High-speed internet is very important to this community and this library. I can search the same information that people in the big cities have access to. I can search libraries on the other side of the country, on the other side of the world. It really does even the playing field for us. Because of the size of Alaska, uh, we have very many communication difficulties. Internet is expensive, it's slow. With, with this launch, we're in one large step of realizing a goal that we've been working on for more than a year, which is to put this broadband opportunity program into place in Alaska. We're naming our project OWL, which means online with libraries. We want people to know what opportunities are out there. We want our partners to know, and we want the people who are in positions to offer funding to know what can be done from libraries and what can be done for Alaskans, rural and urban Alaskans, so that they can conquer the digital divide and live uh, fuller lives with our technology. My name is Vanessa and I love broadband. What broadband has brought is a huge change in who comes to the library and how the library is used. We're the only game in town for internet, for copies, for faxing, and they know that. Government is streamlining its own processes, and so if you don't have that internet connection, you're not going to be able to do that. We do have a lot of people who are coming in because they can no longer apply for a job. IRS forms, tax forms, information that's not provided to the library, that isn't mailed to people at home. I realized because I didn't have high-speed internet access, I was basically being left behind. Broadband is a wonderful equalizer. In the old days in the library, you were restricted to what you had in your library. Now, having the internet, we have the access to the whole world. National boundaries disappear, language disappears. We're serving everybody and they're sitting side by side using the computers. We have a lot of elderly using the internet because they want to see pictures of their grandchildren back home. Right now I'm checking to see the questions for the Tale of Despero, which we are having our book club discussion on Saturday. It means I get the heck out of the house <laughs> instead of being staying home for hours on end. It's the best thing about what we are. We're right next door to a school at this branch, so we do have kids that come in every day, and they come in right after school and, and uh, get on the internet almost immediately. Some of them are doing their homework. They actually do use our computers for their homework. I knew I couldn't have gotten through high school without using the internet. I use broadband to do my homework for school. <laughs> <laughs> it has made libraries more vital to the community. It has become a major part of what people use in the library here. Right on the library's homepage, they have a link for databases and it brings you to all these great sources. I would be completely cut off otherwise. If my library didn't offer broadband, this community would be at a complete disadvantage. It would leave a big void. This, honestly, is pretty much my second home. Broadband internet access is basically what utilities were 50 years ago. They're that important. Thank God I have running water, I have electricity, but I don't have internet access, so I've got to go other places to find it. If we don't provide what our community, what our patrons need, libraries run the risk of becoming obsolete. To me, it's not even a question of should they have it, it's when are they getting it. It should not even be a question. It's about everything in your life. It's about education, it's about work, it's about fun. We're the commons. People come, they sit down next to one another, who knows? They might start a conversation. How good is that? Libraries change lives and broadband changes lives too. It is just part of your life now. It's not an extra. And, and when people think that way, they need to catch themselves and say, I'm in the 21st century. It's not, it's not an extra. Our library provides computers for children, for adults, and for staff. It is bad in Barrow, but it's even worse out in our smaller villages. Without that being here for them, they would have no access and therefore could not benefit from the resources that are available to the rest of the world on the internet. This launch is a great opportunity for us to have a first time meeting with the libraries that we'll be working with for our, our BTOP project. This is a chance for us to get to know the libraries and get to know more about what their needs are, to ask questions, to answer questions that you have, 
and also to set the stage for the work that we'll be doing in the future. This is important to connect Alaska to the rest of the world.